guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the 4th of July. One of the best holidays all year in my opinion. Just a day about family and friends and being outdoors. I love the 4th of July and that's why today I decided to do some treats that were perfect for the 4th of July and I didn't just give one option, I gave three. I am so excited about today's video and I hope you guys have a great 4th of July. First up, we're going to be making this candy bark. So this type of bark is perfect for the 4th of July. It is red, white, and blue. These are so cute. They have a little marble effect on top and then you can put any toppings that you want. They're so thick, perfect consistency. They're not too hard, they break just easily. You guys are gonna love them. Next up, I decided to do something that I've never done on my channel before, which is puppy chow. I decided to do red, white, and blue puppy chow. So we have the white, the red, and then the blue, and you can put this into a cute bowl and mix them all together so that it is just red, white, and blue scattered all over, and I think that that would be so cute to put on your table for the 4th of July. Lastly, my favorite thing of the video, which is why I'm saving it for last. I've actually never made these before, and I've always wanted to. I did some Oreo truffles. Y'all, these are amazing. I love the way that these turned out. They're so simple. All you need is a food processor, and then you dip them into whatever color you want. I did white for the 4th of July, and then on top, I just added some red, white, and blue sprinkles. If you wanna learn how to make any of the three treats that I just showed you, then please keep watching, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel down below, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So our first recipe is going to be candy bark and I'm just going to start by melting one package of navy, red, and white candy melts. I'm going to start by adding one color onto my cookie sheet lined with parchment paper and I'm going to spread that all around. Then I'm just going to do a zigzag motion with the last two colors and I'm going to use a toothpick or I used a skewer to make a marbled design out of the three colors so that you can see all three colors. And I actually ended up going in with more blue because I noticed that it was a lot of just red and white. Then once you have a design that you like, you can add your toppings. I just added some red, white, and blue 4th of July M&Ms and then some 4th of July sprinkles to that. And then you just want to set that whole plate aside so it can completely harden. Once your chocolate is completely hardened, you can then start breaking it into all different types of pieces. It does not matter what shape, what size. I just kind of did a random assortment. And then I am just going to be putting this onto a plate to present it very cute. So now I'm just going to be combining about three ounces of white chocolate candy melt along with a tablespoon and a half of butter and then about a half teaspoon of vanilla and I'm going to be adding that to my Chex rice cereal and mixing that all together. Once that's mixed together you can add it to a big Ziploc bag and start adding a fourth of a cup of powdered sugar at a time. You then want to mix this up and shake it as fast as you can just so that it coats all of those rice jars. And then I'm just going to repeat all of those ingredients mixture together, but with red this time. And as you can see, you can add more powdered sugar if needed, or you can do less if you think you need less, but I just did it so that it was a light coat and you could still tell what color the checks was. And then lastly, I'm just going to add my butter to my checks and mix that together and add my last color, which is blue. And I'm just gonna give that a good mix and then like the last two colors, I'm gonna add that to a freezer Ziploc bag and mix that together with powdered sugar and that's my three colors. I 
I actually love how this turned out. I think that this is so creative and perfect for the 4th of July. It's just a great little grab and go type of snack and everybody loves puppy chow. How could you not? This is so cute. You guys have to make it. Our final recipe includes a whole box of Oreos. Yes, I said it. I am throwing about half of the box into my food processor. I'm just putting half the box into my food processor and combining that all together until there are no chunks left and that it is all fine crumbs. Once you have a sand-like consistency, you can then add a half a stick of butter. I am using a whole stick of butter for this recipe, but since I have to do half at a time, I'm just adding half and then you're gonna put that into the food processor and mix that up with the crumbs so that it forms a kind of dough-like consistency. And then as you can see, I am just repeating what I did with the first half with my second half of the box. And then as you can see here, the thin crumbs and the butter make a type of dough consistency. And you're just going to want to start rolling that into balls like you would a cookie. I'm just rolling this in the palm of my hands and I'm going to put that onto a lined baking sheet. And then once you have all of those on your baking sheet, you can put them into the fridge. You want them to harden. You don't want any of the crumbs to be falling off. Once those are cooled down from the fridge, you can then start dipping them into white melting chocolate. You can do any color that you want, but I decided to do white with colorful sprinkles. And you just want to dip this into your melted chocolate with a fork and make sure all of it is covered. And make sure that you put your sprinkles on top of these truffles before the chocolate hardens. to this 4th of July themed video. I love doing these types of videos where I do a couple different options in the video so that you don't just have one to choose from. I love making cupcakes, but sometimes it is a little bit easier just to do a small treat. It takes such less time. It's so perfect for holidays like the 4th of July because it's a perfect hand food. Anybody can just grab and go. It's easy, it's quick. People love that kind of thing. Everyone's gonna eat it. They're 4th of July colors, red, white, and blue. I love the way that these turned out and I hope you guys did too. Please let me know if you make any of these treats in the video and thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I hope I see you guys in my next video and I hope you have a great and safe 4th of July.